Welcome to e Sala, and this paper is on public libraries. This particular module discusses the major important public libraries in the city of Mumbai. The first I am going to discuss about the Town Hall Public Library or Asiatic Society Library. In the year 1804, 17 Europeans joined at the government house at Parel to discuss and formulate what is called uh, uh, the Literary Society of Bombay. The result was the formation of the society and uh, the main objective of the society is to promote knowledge particularly about India. James McIntosh was elected as the president of the newly formed society and William Erskine was elected as the secretary. The society started functioning in a humble way and it is on the 31st December 1804 the governor in council of Mumbai, Jonathan Duncan has presented two copies of uh, Hunter's Essays on uh, Diseases and this formed the basis or the nucleus for the library of the society. On 25th February 1805, the society purchased Medical and Literary Library of Bombay at a cost of 6,565, 5 and 2 pies. And thus, the collection of the library was enriched with the addition of this particular library. In 1806, a library committee was formed to manage the affairs of the library and purchase of books and arrangement and maintenance issue and return of books in the library. A clerk and a sepoy was appointed to look after the library. In 1810, in order to raise the funds for the society, the society organized a lottery, but unfortunately not much funds could be collected. About only 16,000 rupees was added to the kitty of the society. In 1828, the name of the Literary Society of Bombay was changed to Royal Asiatic Society of Bombay. In 1830, the management decided to approach the government for an accommodation for the society and the library. And uh, that time the town hall was under construction and they approached the government to allot some accommodation in the town hall of Mumbai. And it has also contributed about 10,000 rupees for the construction of the town hall. And later on, two rooms were spared for the society and its library in the newly constructed town hall. The library and the society moved into the new building on 26th November 1830. Later on, from time to time, a large number of public libraries that were there in Mumbai were purchased and added to the town hall public library or Asiatic Society Library. These are Agri Horticultural Society Library, which was added in 1830, and Geological Society Library in 1834, and Library of the Scientific Society in 1843, and Medical and Physical Society Library in the year 1865. The Government of Bombay appointed a Library Developmental Committee under the chairmanship of 
AAA 5G and the 5G committee submitted its report in 1939. But unfortunately, as the government has changed, no action could be initiated. But when B.G. Kerr became the chief minister of the state of Bombay, has declared the Asiatic Society Library as the state central library. But this also would not proceed further due to the change in the government. This town hall library or the Asiatic Society Library is designated as the depository library under the Present Registration of Books Act and also Newspapers Act of 1954 and 55. It has already been receiving books from all over India under the Present Registration of Act of 1867. Thus, uh, the Town Hall Library or the Asiatic Society Library has become one of the important depository libraries in the country. They receive books from all over India, newspapers and magazines, and all are stacked in the library. The space was insufficient and uh, they were not in a position to store all the books that are being received under the various depository acts. Later on, uh, the Maharashtra Public Library Act was established in 1967 and this act has made provision for establishment of a state central library. Several efforts were made for the establishment of state central library but could not result in the desired manner. Finally, Land was acquired near Kalina campus of Bombay University and it was earmarked for the construction of a, a building for the State Central Library. Now, the director of uh, libraries as well as the state's librarian both sit together in the town hall library in the same congested area and uh, it is not known when and where the State Central Library could be constructed and when it will get the full-fledged status as the State Central Library. Further, State Central Library was assigned a number of responsibilities, for example, centralized classification and cataloging of documents and uh, state bibliographic and also state library for the blind and other categories of specialized users. It is far from the reality that the state central library in the present status is not in a position to meet these demands of the society. The second important library of uh, Mumbai is the Mumbai Marathi Grandha Sangrahalaya, which is uh, aimed at collecting all the books that have been published in Marathi and stored or stacked at a particular place so that it will be easy for the public to refer to these collections. In fact, uh, the first uh, Marathi library are a uh, as to be established in Mumbai is the Marathi Sangrahalaya in the year 1893. But uh, due to outbreak of plague, the library activities also disappeared. And uh, it was in the year 1890 that a second attempt was made in Mumbai in order to establish a, a Grandha Sangrahalaya. It was at Dadar on the Nariyal Purnima day on the 1st August of 1890, a group of uh, senior citizens 
have come together to establish a, a Marathi Granda Sangrahalaya. These uh, important people include Mr. Mukund Gurjal, Sridhar Modak, Vinayak Joshi, Saji Walkar, Vital Tullu, Narsimha Joshi, Anant Pitkar, Narayan Godre, Narayan Vakre, Ganesh Page, Ambadas Puntambu, Puntambikar were the people who joined together uh, to form this particular library. These are known as Ekadasha Rudra or the 11 founded members of this particular library. Mr. Vinayak Vok was elected as the president of the newly formed society. The library started functioning in a small room in the Thakurdas Vibhag, now known as Palwa Road, with a box containing 300 books. Puntambikar, the founder of the Bharat Sevak Samaj in 1815, was the chosen secretary for a long time and he was responsible for enriching the library and organizing the various programs. The first floor of the building of the library was constructed in 1932. Puntambikar retired as a secretary in the year 1934 and Pense, Patak, Bhatt, Gokhale, Joglekar have started taking interest in the development of the library. M.B. Bhattwadekar and V.B. Gajendra Gadkar, they took keen interest in the development of the library and construction of the second and third floor of the building. The library started expanding its activities all over the city of Bombay. It established the Dadar branch in 1941 and in 1966, there were 10 branches spread all over the city of Mumbai. The second and third floor of the building was also constructed. The Golden Jubilee of the library was celebrated in the year 1949 and Itihas Samsodak Mandal was established in order to conduct research or support research in rewriting the history of the India. The Diamond Jubilee of the library was celebrated in 1958 where Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru laid the foundation stone for the construction of a, a new building. Rav Ravindra Bharati Shaka was uh, formed which was mainly intended to serve the minority communities in the city of Bombay. Today there are, there are a number of sections and departments and divisions of the library which are catering to the entire city of Mumbai. These include Sangrahalaya, the collection of rare and valuable manuscripts, Vachanalaya, the reading room, reference section, where uh, rare and uh, out, out, out uh, rare books are kept, different section where rare books have been kept in order to help the users. Vachanalaya and Sam, Samshodhan Mandal. Samshodhan Mandal is uh, a supportive branch of the library for conducting research in the subjects relating to Marathi and Marathi literature. Sangrahalaya is a collection. They have a publication section and uh, a sales counter is also there for selling the publications of the library. 
Ravindra Bharati, as I said, it is meant for serving the minority communities, both by language, language and religion in the city of Mumbai. Maharashtra Prabodhan Shaka is another branch which was established by the library. The library is well organized, well equipped, and it has a three-storied building and also an auditorium which can accommodate 10,000 members at a time. Coming to Bombay, now known as Mumbai, there are two ancient and uh, very important libraries. The first one is the Library of the Asiatic Society of Bombay and the second is the Mumbai Marathi Grantha Sangrahalai. The Asiatic Society of Bombay was established in 1804 by 17 Britishers who had joined together to form a the Literary Society of Bombay. In fact, uh, the Britishers has the problem to get literature in uh, English language in good number in Mumbai. And uh, even uh, they were interested in knowing much about India and uh, Indian administration. So they felt the need to establish a research society called the Literary Society of Mumbai or Bombay. Mackintosh was the chosen as the chairman and Irwin as secretary. These two people took keen interest in the development of the library. Jonathan Duncan, who was uh, the governor of State of Bombay has donated a couple of copies of Hunter's uh, History of Diseases. And uh, this particular book formed the basis for the library that has been established by the Literary Society of Bombay. From time to time, they have been adding books to the library but there was always a shortage of funds for the development of the library. Hence, they constructed, they conducted what is called a, a lottery in the year 1810. Even then, uh, they could collect only 16,000 rupees in those days. So, in order to have a firm footing, they wanted to have a building of their own, but the funds were insufficient. So they approached the government for uh, providing some accommodation for the society and the library. That time the town hall was under construction. A 10,000 rupees that was there with the live society was given to the government and requested the government to provide accommodation for the society and the library in the town hall. The society moved into the town hall on 26th November 1830. And from time to time, they have acquired a number of libraries in order to enrich the collection. The Agri Articultural Society Library was acquired in 1830 and Geological Society Library in 1836 and Medical Physical Library in 1865 and Library of the Scientific Society in 1843. The main importance of this library is in the course of time that has become the depository library under the present Registration of Books Act of 1867 and also the Delivery of Books Act, Delivery of Books and Newspapers Act of 1965. Under this, a large number of books, periodicals and magazines are being received by the library and this area that is there, the space that is there is not sufficient 
for accommodating in the entire collection and also the staff of the library. In uh, 1967, the government of Maharashtra established Maharashtra Public Libraries Act and some effort were made to provide a suitable accommodation for the library. They acquired a land near Kalina campus of University of Bombay and State Central Library was expected to come up there. But till today, unfortunately, it could not materialize. The entire collection lies unorganized in the Asiatic Society Library. Mumbai Marathi Grandha Sangrahalaya was established in 1890. On the Nariyal Purima day, that is 1st August 1890, a, about 11 members who are prominent in the city of Mumbai have joined together and decided to establish this library. It has started functioning in a small room in Takur Das Vibhag, now called Palwa Road, with a collection of 300 books. And these books were kept in a bo box and circulated to the citizens of the Bombay. 11 members who were the founders, they took keen interest in the upkeep and maintenance of the library. Particularly, Mr. Puntam Baker, who was the chosen secretary, was responsible for the all-round development of the library. Mr. Puntamkar has retired in 1934, and people like uh, Pense, Page, and Bhatt, Gokhale, Joglekar, etc., took interest in the development of this library further. The library celebrated its uh, uh, Golden Jubilee in the year 1949 and the Diamond Jubilee in 1958. These have be provided a lot of Philip for the development of the library. Today the library has three-storied building with uh, a large number of sections as well as an auditorium of which can accommodate 10,000 individuals. The various sections of this library are different section, Vachanalaya, Samshodhan Mandal, Sangrahalaya, Publication Section, Sales Counter, Ravindra Bharati, and so on. So these two libraries are still playing an important role in the social life of the city of Mumbai. If you need any further information about these libraries, you may refer to the e-text and thank you for your kind hearing.